14. Hi, I'm Jessica Graves, right here, live here in China on Venus. I would like, my friends would like to introduce themselves and teach you how they live here and what they make. Hi, I'm Brenda. And I'm Sabrina. Um, let's see, what would I, what would you guys like to explain to us first? Well, <laughs> anything um, you'd like. Um, how about that, bit, like, that little thing over there? This? Yes. This is made out of porcelain and it's more modern because it has diamonds and more rich people buy these because it's more expensive. Very pretty, and it has those little diamonds on it. I wonder if it's expensive. Um, will you, well, would you like to show us this jewelry right here? Yeah, um, actually, I am wearing one right now. This is fine jewelry here in China, and um, there is more than just this bracelet right here. We have a jewelry box made of jade, and another nice bracelet, which I'm not wearing right now, but I'm wearing this one. Well, they are pretty much expensive, but they are really pretty, so they're worth it. Wow, I could buy one of those, you know? <laughs> Very pretty on me. Um, would you, would you like to show us that, that wooden jewelry box? Um, this is a wooden jewelry box, as you said, and it's made out of, and people make it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. We all get nervous on TV, okay? <laughs> we, 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 we like to go somewhere else. Um, but that's really cool. It's cars, and like they really carve it. Yes, that's very, very cool. Um, would you like to show us this base right here? Whoa, that is really pretty. You see that? Uh, look at all those leaves and pretty flowers. Can you just like to explain that? Yeah, this is another porcelain base, um, just like that one over there, but um, this one is just um, painted with flowers and leaves. It's made by our artist here, and there's not only two, but there's another one. Is this bowl made of porcelain? Yes, and we use this bowl to eat our food, such as noodles and rice, and we use these called chopsticks to grab our food with. Like forks, huh? Yes, similar to forks. That's really cool. Um, so I saw this big beast vase that you had earlier. <laughs> Would you like to introduce us to it? Yes, this is a bigger porcelain vase, and it has a different texture compared to the other two. And it has a coat that makes it shine during any time of day. That's really cool. I dropped it earlier, so it's a pretty good, like, piece to buy. Very stable and really cool. I want to buy one of those because with all these earthquakes happening, you know. Um, okay, would you, um, like to introduce us to, um, that hat over there? Like, what um, do you guys use it for? And what do you... Well, that hat, we actually use it to protect our face. And it is made out of wheat. And we just use it... Well, farmers normally use it more when they're farming outside. It's really hot and sunny, so they use it just to protect their face. And now we do use them. That's so. really cool. Would you like to say anything else about it? I think we just said it all. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I want to buy one of those hats. You know, that'd be, that'd be good, because I get sunburned. Um, then would you like to show us... The, um, well, are we done? Well, not quite. We have two more things. And one of them is <coughs> material that we have to that we use to dress ourselves, and it's called satin. This one is made out of little beads, and it has these be bead strings hanging. And on it, it has flowers and stitches from it. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Like, that's really cool. I want to learn to make one of those. Um, well, I guess we're pretty much done with the show. Well, actually, you are not just quite. Well, there, these are some nice tools that the carvings well, people who carved use, they're, not, they're um, just like pencils like we use today, but these are actually made of wood. So you carve, um, just like that box over there, they carved, you can carve anything you actually want. So that's what the carvers did. That's really cool. So I guess we're done now, right? Yes, we are. We'll be able to see you tomorrow in the farmland, like where they, where they use those hats. And it's getting dark outside, so we would like to say goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Jessica Graves, live here in China on C News. This, this, these are my co-hosts, Brenda and Sabrina, and they would like to show you, well, because they've lived here for about three years, and they would like to show you their, um, the wheat. Yeah, this is some of our wheat fields, and, um, Brenda's going to show you an example. If you come over here, look this way, here's a close-up look of how wheat looks. Very um, yellowish, and a pretty color, but, well, there's a lot of wheat. Would you like to get a glimpse of all this? I guess we're done here, so we'll see you in a little while. Bye. Bye. Take 22. Hi, I'm Jess Craves, live here in China on C News. My friends would like to show you what they make here, and this is Brenda Martinez and Sabrina Barreto. Would you guys like to show us something? Yeah, this is one of the many um, fields of barley. Um, we have a lot in China, but this is just one of them that we're showing you today. Cool. Um, why don't you give us an example of what it looks like? Sure. Can you see? Sure. Thank you. Here's a close-up picture of how barley looks, and how it's planted. Oh, it's pretty fun making that stuff, isn't it? Yes, Go it, is. it takes a while, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that much patience. Okay, well, I guess we'll see you later, and we'll check up on, well, we'll look at the rice and how they grow it, and, well, their fields, and we will take a glimpse at the Great Wall in China. Bye! Bye. Take 22. Hi, I'm Jessica Grace, live here in C News on China. In China, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, a little nervous here. Uh, 
My, this is Sabrina. Sabrina? <laughs> Sorry, okay. We're gonna keep doing this. Okay, this is Sabrina and this is Brenda. 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 Sorry, I kind of forget. Yeah. And they would like to show you the rice because you couldn't make it to one of the rice fields. So would you guys like to show it to us? Sure. Um, this is rice after. This is how it looks after it's been grown, washed, and cleaned, and ready to be on the market. Um, this is one of our main food sources. We use it with a lot of um, different kinds of foods. We use it for, um, well, we just combine them with food. And um, it's one of the main resources. Very, very nice. This is really fun to play with, too. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll see you later in the Great Wall. Thank you. Okay, 22. Hi, I'm just Grace, live here on C News in China. Um, this is Brenda Martinez and Sabrina Barreto, and they would like to introduce the um, Great Wall. We've got some soldiers back here just protecting the Great Wall. Um, the Great Wall has been here for quite a long time and it's still here today. Very, very cool. Do you like anything? Um, they use smoke signals and lighting to know if foreigners were going to attack, so then they're ready to attack them back. Very cool. Would you guys like to get close to this? Okay, well, I, I guess we're done here, so this is C News on Jessica Grace.